हे गायज वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टुडे विल सी अबाउट द हैशिंग सो विल सी ऑल अबाउट लाइक व्हाट इज हैशिंग व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ हैशिंग व्हाई वी डू हैशिंग एंड देन हाउ वी कैन डू द हैशिंग एंड देन व्हाट इज गुड हैशिंग राइट एंड देन एट द लास्ट विल सी दैट व्हाट आर डिफरेंट वेज टू अवॉइड द कॉलिजेंस वाइल क्रिएटिंग द हैश फंक्शन एंड हैश टेबल्स राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इट नाउ वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ हैशिंग right you might have heard this term a lot nowadays like uh, like do hashing so that you can improve the performance of your system right so so, so at what places we can apply this hashing so let's start now first of all hashing is used to index data right so now what is indexing data so let's take example of an db so let's say we have a 1 million data and we have 1 million data of users data and now uh, let's say if you want to search any name particular name right so if we have 1 million data and if we search any name particular so what would happen it would go to the particular column name column and it will search in 1 million data right now uh, the data is in random order so obviously it would take big of n in searching right and it would take much time now so so what people say people say that if you want to improve the search index that index that column right index the name like in mongodb by default this id id is always indexed so if you want to improve the uh, improve the search on a particular uh, column so we index that particular column right now how indexing happen right so what we do indexing in indexing basic so let's take example this one so let's say these are our keys so let's take example of the name these are the names so now what we do in hashing basically we have a hash function so what happens that we give a we give a particular name to the hash function and hash function will will generate a value will generate a hash value and then it stores this value into the hash table so this hash is basically is the hash table right so what happens next time let's say if you if you are searching this lisa smith so it would check in the hash functions that what is that what was the value uh, which was generated through hash function and it got the value then it will directly go in that hashes it will search and it will return you value right so earlier when in 1 million document when there was when it was giving you result in big of n now it is giving you in big of 1 right how through hash function right because hash function giving you value and then it directly searching to the hash table and it is giving you a value right so now you can see the importance of hashing and that that how how it has improved your uh, searching right so that is why in indexing we always use the hashing right though we have the sorting and other uh, algorithm to index data but hashing is the best algorithm right so this is of one purpose second purpose is in cryptographic application so now you could uh, you can understand from here let's say uh, let's say if you are giving this name this john smith to someone and so let's say if you if you pass through network and so someone can intercept and he can easily retrieve right this is a name but let's say if, if there is a password or something else there is a critical information so you can directly intercept and get the information so now what we are what you can do you can basically create a different value through hash function because hash function will create a will create a another uh, another value so nowadays we have a like md5 hash function or other functions which we can use directly so it will generate a value and then will uh, transfer through network call right so by this way if anyone even intercepts so he could not recognize like what is the what is the exact value right because he doesn't has that hash function right so this is a second purpose like in cryptographic application we can use this now third is sharding the keys so sharding the keys is very important nowadays when we have the distributed systems because when you have the sites like facebook amazon so what they do they don't rely on one server on second server they have a distributed server across the regions for asian for europe for uh, us they have different servers right so wherever wherever we need to shard shard means whenever we need to distribute the keys we can use this hashing now finding the duplicate record so obviously uh, now you could see from here let's say if we have already this lisa smith in the uh, in the hash table so now if if another time if another name comes again so we can directly go there and we can say oh this value is already filled it means this uh, this record is already exist right so through that we can find the duplicate record so this is the another one application now there are several other applications that we that we can do through hashing 
right so that is why hashing is very much important and now we'll see that what all is hashing and how we can do it so uh, let's go directly to the uh, uh, to the sentence yes hashing is generating a value or values from a string of text using a mathematical function called hash function right so hashing is all about the hash function and hash table we have the two thing in hashing hash function and hash table and now what hash function does hash function basically hash function basically generate the generated different value from your original value and it direct the this and it put this hash functions generated value to the hash table so this hash is, is kind of hash table right so this is the hashing now hashing is one way of enable security during the process of message transmission when the message is intended for the particular recipient only so this is the same thing this is basically explaining the purpose of hashing right so now let me take example of this uh, of some values that how it happens so let's say if we have these values 21 56 72 39 40 and 96 right and let's say earlier earlier these values were simply stored in a list or in an array now we want to put these values in a in a hash function through hash function so that we can get faster result like this so now what would happen we would have two thing hash function and hash table so this is the hash table and this is the hash function now choosing a size of hash table is another uh, is is again important so also let's take example let's say we have the size 10 from 0 to 10 and we have a hash function basic function x more 10 so x more 10 is a basic thing now now let's start so let's start from 21 so when i will do 21 more 10 it would give me 1 so i know that where it would store it would store in the in in the in the one position of the hash table so it would directly go and it will put 21 so now what would happen if next time 21 comes it knows what is the location of 21 location of 21 is this one right this 21 now let's say if 56 come now in the case of 56 so 56 more 10 it means it would go in this location 56 right now 72 so 72 will go in this location 39 will go in this location 48 will go in this location and 96 will again go in this location right so obviously if we have the simple x more 10 it would replace this value right so now uh you can understand from here that if any time if if any time next time we search any value so we know exactly where is that where is that uh, location what is the location of our value so if you search 39 it, we can directly go we can directly get from hash function that the location of 39 is this so it would return me this value right so these are the basic value but when we have the nodes when we have the object value so what we do we, we basically store the addresses so let's say if it let's say if x is the object so it would generate a value from hash function and it would store the value from here so we can directly get the address of that object and we can simply return right so this is how this hashing work now we'll see that what are the different complications in hashing and and how hash function and hash tables are important and how we should decide that what is the hash function right so now what is a good hash function so as you can understand from he here that if we have the x more 10 so you could see that uh, when we were at the sixth index so 56 and 96 both are in same place and we have, when when we have the this system so x more 10 would what would do it would basically override the 56 and 56 will be lost right in this case so our hash function is very important what we are choosing so this x more 10 this is the hash function this is very important right so now what is a good hash function first of all it's easy to compute correctly said now even distribution so even distribution means it says let's say if you have the hash table of 10 and and you could see from here that only five places are filled right rest places are empty or like you you could say that what is the need of storing these two values at a one place why can't we store this 96 in other another uh, another hash table indexes when they are free right so this is a one thing that even distributed even distributed or you could say like why they are located in the same place why they are not e evenly distributed right now less collision less collision means this one this kind of thing like 56 and 96 so it so it means that if you have the more collision so there is no point of having the hash table right because it would take more time to search 
so that that's why it says that your hash function should be like this that it should have the less collision as much as possible right so these are the some of the important thing that we always need to take care whenever we are deciding the hash function now uh, how to resolve the collision so as you could see from here that 56 and 96 were put in the same place so, so now we want to avoid that so how we can do that let's see so uh, it's saying that first of all we have the simple collision handling so we can have a separate chaining when whenever we have the more than one item in a cell a new item will be at the front so uh, what is meaning by it let's say if we have this 56 96 here so first item would come 56 so it says that rather than if rather than here first you will store the 56 here but if any new items comes which is at the same place at the same cell so you would create a link list and you would put this put the new item at the front so this 96 at the front so what would happen let's say if you are searching 56 so it will go directly here uh, through the hash function and now it would search that whether this item is equal to 56 or not right so this is a one thing uh, like in java also you could say that we have the two things first is hash code and second is equals so if your hash code is same then it search through equals right because hash code value is same so now there is no alternative but to search with the exact name that whether these values are equal or not so first it would say okay 56 is equal to 96 it is not then it would go here 56 equal to 56 yes and then it would return this value right so this is a, this is a thing hash code and equals that we use in java so this is a simple collision handling so what we can do whenever there is a whenever there are same values at same place we can put the uh, we can put the indexing we can put the link list and we can use it so this is known as the open hashing because we are basically creating link list to add the collision outside of the hash table so this is the hash table and these are the link list which we need to create extra so this is out of the hash table this is why we call the open hashing All right so now what is the problem problem is it says by this way we can insert all the items but searching and deletion will take time obviously so let's say if you are searching 56 so for 15 for uh, searching 56 you need to have two thing first you would search through hash function and then you will apply the linear search in searching in the link list right because in link list we can search only in the big of n so this is the two thing that we need to do so that is why this is a basic problem now we'll come to the second uh, option of resolving collision which is open addressing so app open addressing or it is called the closed hashing closed hashing why because basically we need not to create the another link list we are doing all the things in the same hash table so first of all it says through linear probing so linear probing says that whenever you have the whenever you have the same value in the same cell so like here when it was the 96 so what you could do you could basically search in the next cell that whether that is free or not so like you could see from here that when it was 96 so this so the next cell is free right so you could simply go in the next cell and you could see that if the next cell is free then just put the new value into that cell so now let me tell you so by linear probing it says if x mode 10 is already present then do on x plus 1 mode 10 and if it's present then do on x plus 2 mode 10 right so now you could see that if this 96 so 96 come came here it says that 96 mode 10 is already filled so now it says 96 plus 1 mode 10 which is 97 mode 10 which is at 7th so now put this value at this position right so now let's say if there is a new value which is again in the same place let's say 106 so if you would insert this 106 so it would again go in the next one it would say this is already present it would next one next one then next one so 106 should be placed here right so now uh, what you could see here that even for putting the value we are basically searching one by one one by one right and so basically we 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 have a uh, we have a batches so like this is a one batch now this is another batch which is not that good right so this is a one problem one problem in the linear probing that it is that it will block of data in chunks but not evenly distributed right these are not evenly distributed so for that we could have the quadratic probing so in quadratic probing what happens that rather than so earlier it was only x now it will be x square 
right and we'll start from x x equal to 1 so so you could see here that 96 would be placed here because this is 1 but now when 106 would come here so basically it would rather than searching here it would directly it would directly search here right it would directly search here then it would search in ninth place so now what we are doing we are basically doing through x square so this is quadratic probing right so this will be this will be more distributed than the linear probing right then we can have the double hashing so in double hashing what happens that this fi so we, rather than this i which was in linear probing and which was in quadratic i square so which would have a different function and it would be i into h hash 2x so this could be again like r minus x mode r and then this r equal to it can be any value so like in this case it is 10 now we can have 7 also any prime number right so through the double hashing so now what would happen this x plus 1 so we could so let's say this value is r minus mode 7 so we can have this evenly distributed system through double hashing right so that's it guys for this uh, hashing we have seen that what are the uh, what were the purposes of the hashing then we saw that how hashing is done what actually happens in hashing then what is the hash function what is the hash table and then what is a good hash function then in the case of collision what we should do we can apply the linear probing or we can apply the uh, quadratic probing or we can apply the double hashing so that's it for this video and if you have any doubt if you if you have anything that comes to your mind please write in the comment section and we will try to answer that so thanks guys and if you understood this problem then please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you